It is a great excuse to celebrate. The longest day of the year, like the winter solstice, it marks a change in the direction of daylight hours. But what's the science behind it? Chief Meteorologist Melissa Fry explains. Summer solstice, the day with the longest amount of time between sunrise and sunset. In Anchorage, that's 19 hours, 21 minutes, and 29 seconds from when the sun rises at 4.20 a.m. and sets at 11.42 p.m. We, of course, get our daylight from the sun, but to get that light, we have to actually be facing the sun. And lucky for us in Alaska, the Earth is tilted on a 23 and a half degree axis. That means this time of year, we're facing that giant ball of fire 93 million miles away, more hours than much of the globe. Ukiave, Kotzebue, Fort Yukon, and everyone north of the Arctic Circle see 24 hours of daylight on the summer solstice. But the closer to the equator you get, the shorter the daylight is, which continues to drop all the way to the South Pole, where the sun doesn't shine at all this time of year. This all changes the day after the solstice. At 12.50 p.m., the Earth's tilt toward the sun reached its maximum, with the most direct sunlight pointed at the Tropic of Cancer. That's located at 23 and a half degrees latitude north. But as we move around the sun, those direct rays will move south, eventually making it all the way back to the Tropic of Capricorn on December 21st. If the Earth wasn't tilted, we'd all have about 12 hours of daylight year-round, meaning no seasons. Now this year's solstice is unique. It's the earliest we've seen since the 1700s. The exact moment of the solstices and equinoxes vary year to year. This is because we count one revolution around the sun as 365 days, but it actually takes 365 days, six hours and nine minutes to get all the way around. We correct our calendar by adding leap years. By adding and taking away days, it moves the date of the solstice from anywhere between June 20th and June 22nd, depending on where we are in that leap year correction cycle. We do start losing daylight tomorrow, but on the bright side, it's a slow process. We still have more daylight in Alaska than the entire lower 48 until late September. For Alaska's News Source, I'm Melissa Fry.